So here in the information bulletin, in the 11th point given that procedure and criteria for declaration of a result. So here the step one is, uh, here I am providing these steps and I am going to give you an example also. So step one is the number of candidates to be qualified shall be equal to 6% of the candidates appeared in both the papers of the national eligibility test. That means only the top 6% are going to be qualified for the national eligibility test. And while coming to step 2, the total slot shall be allocated to different categories as per the reservation policy of Government of India. The total slots uh, uh, is decided by the reservation policy of Government of India. So here you can uh, see that as per the current reservation policy, a minimum of 27% for the OBC non creamy layer and 15% for the SC category and 7.5% for the ST category and 3% of slots are for the PWD category. Okay. So these are the slots, reservation slots as per the government of India. So now while coming back to this one, uh, so we come to know the second point. And the third point is in order to consider for JRF and eligibility for resident professor and for resident professor, the candidate must have appeared in both the two papers, that is paper one and paper two and secured at least 40 percentage of aggregate in both the papers taken together for general it is unreserved candidates and at least 35 percentage of aggregate marks in both the papers taken together for all the candidates belonging to the reserved category that is sc st obc non creamy layer pwd and transgender so the 35 percentage means it is a 105 marks out of the 300 and 40 percentage means 120 out of the 300 marks so these are the minimum uh, marks these category these candidates can has to score that means the general category or the unreserved category has to score a minimum 120 marks out of the 300 and the other reserved categories has to score 105 out of the 300 marks and while coming to the step four number of candidates to be declared qualified for the eligibility for assistant professor in the subject economics for the scheduled sc category so here one example is given here so based upon this example they given one formula here the number of candidates belong to st category so here i am going to show or elaborate this example clearly so same example i am taking for the scheduled cast category for the economics and how this formula can be applicable clearly so coming to this example, the first point is let us, it's an example. So let us take the total number of SC students scored greater than 35%. That means 105 marks out of the 300 in economics. In addition to both the paper one and paper two, paper one plus paper two, if the marks are greater than 35%, then for example, if the total number of such type of candidates are 1000 and the top 6% out of the qualified candidates all cast categories in economics is equal to 5000 then the slot for SC category as we already saw that 15 percentage is for the slot for the SC category as per the uh, reservation policy of government of India so 15 percent of this 5000 becomes equal to 750 now the total number of SC students scored greater than 35 percent in both the paper 1 and paper 2 in all the 81 subjects that means in all the subjects conducted by the university grants commission is equal to 25,000 number of candidates so with the help of these figures now we are going to see the formula whatever the given by the uh, ENTA national testing agency so the number of candidates to be declared qualified for eligibility for assistant professor in the subject economics for the scheduled caste category is equal to number of candidates belonging to sc category who secure at least 35 percentage aggregate of marks in both the papers taken together for the sc category for economics so previously for this point we took that thousand number of candidates and into total slots are derived for sc category as per the step two so total number of uh, slots as per the sc category in the previous slide we took that it's a 750 so i took here 750 and while coming divided by total number of candidates belonging to SC category over all subjects, all subjects means total 81 subjects who secure at least 35 percentage of aggregate marks in both the papers taken together. Previously, I took this one as a 25,000, so I just substituted 25,000. 
So if you did this calculation, then we will get 30 candidates. That means this 30 number of candidates is going to be selected as a uh, eligibility for assistant professor in the subject of economics for the scheduled caste category. So it is the way how the NTA is going to uh, pick out or calculate the total number of candidates has to be qualified for the eligibility of assistant professor as well as for the JRF. For the JRF we will see in the next video. So in this video I am just going to discuss about only the assistant professor.